started by Skylar Harmon and uh, the second, third grade team, teaching team, as a, uh, originally as a response following up with the Trail of Tears, the Cherokee Indians. Uh, they did a service project where they were collecting all kinds of uh, clothes, food, and other goods to send to the reservation. Wagon train food that we got, they, they took it to a teacher's house, and that was sort of the train going to the teacher's house. And then it went on to the Indian reservation with the parents. Well, that worked for a couple of years, and then they weren't connected to that reservation anymore. So we started then doing it with a food pantry. And it became something that has gone on and for many years now. Food, and we walked them to Skylar's house. She put them in her garage, and then um, they were picked up there and taken up north. Um, I think we did that for the first year, I, we may have done that two years, I can't remember. Actually, I think that's true. I think we did it two years, and then the third year, um, uh, that connection wasn't there anymore, and um, Joyce Devlin, who was teaching in preschool, um, suggested that we take it to Emmanuel Episcopal Church Food Center, and so that's where it has gone ever since. First couple of years, it was only second, third grade. Well, the wagon train started <clears throat> when I was going to the Emanuel Church, which is where where it still goes. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And I went to the church and said, uh, "Are you interested in having this come to you?" And so this was after a while because I can remember being standing up at uh, an old orchard and watching a parade go by, and it seems that they were bringing the food at that time. We decided that it was important to go to do things local, that there were children hungry here. And uh, the other second and third grade teacher, Margaret Rowe, had a connection with a, a church for a local food pantry. But just helping the people get the food and just thinking that this simple process could save lives. Circumambulation. There's something in cultures. Circumambulation, walking in circles. That whether it be the Maypole or um, the uh, Native American uh, ritual uh, or just sitting in a care circle, uh, walking in circles in different cultures has some sort of a, a connective power. And uh, there's something about gathering the food in second and third grade uh, and going uh, all the way to the food pantry and then coming back. So there's a circle there. We get to go on a long walk carrying cans. It just, it, it feels good that you're helping the world. It makes me feel happy like when I bring in the cans. It makes me feel really good that like I'm helping someone else and then it almost, if you're if you're giving a gift and you see the expression on the person's face, they're like, ah! and they're like all happy, and that makes you almost feel like you're getting the gift. Like everything else at the college school, that it wasn't just a, an activity that you did. It, it became your math and your uh, literature and your uh, uh, social studies, all of the things combined. And then you can make signs like, bring in cans or something like that. So that was one of them. At the end of the counting process, I uh, like I looked at the whole school. Well, I looked at the chart that was covering the whole school, and I was like, wow. And then, because the whole school, what, um, working together, you don't realize it, but you can get a lot more than um, if you just do something by yourself. Well, we sometimes put little stickers on them to know that we've already counted them. Um, I, I, to make it a competition. And it's not your common sort of competition in that we're looking to beat the other groups. It becomes sort of a joke. It's an inside joke for our community. We're, we know we're not really trying to beat the other group, but, but it's a way to keep it in the front of our minds and say, we're, we're going to be the best, we're going to have the most cans. And um, 
in doing that, it gets it into the conversation every day. It gets people thinking about it, and it, and it makes it a, a, a little bit more fun. Also gets me excited is um, you get to uh, you get in this like assembly line, and you um, pass the cans down, and um, that's really fun, actually. I remember that the people on the streets that are going to get this food have to do a lot more work than us.